Hi, I'm Stephanie Moore with Unity Point Health, and I'm joined this morning with Glenn Bauman, a therapist and a partner with Unity Point Health. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to do it. So we're going to talk about a topic that has been in the news, unfortunately, all too much, and that's these mass shootings, um, things going on at shopping centers, at schools, and that affects children. How do we talk to our kids about those kind of things? Well, just keep in mind that as we talk to our kids about it, uh, our attitudes and our own feelings are going to be carried uh, by them and they pick up on that really quickly. Um, so whatever anxiety you have about uh, your child and going to a shopping center or to a, a concert or a, a, a big event, um, they're going to sense what you're sensing. And it's not unusual for adults to be concerned about it because I know in my experience uh, it recently um, it, there was questions all around my friends about do I really want to go to the fair or do I really want to go to that concert or not. And so just be aware that they're going to pick up and uh, on your feelings and if, if you're uncertain about it, they will be as well. Um, so probably a good step is to talk about that feeling you have and give your perspective mm -hmm. to your young one so that they know what you're thinking about and if you're realizing that that's just a thought that uh, may not come true and that there are other things that make you safe when you go out, share that with them so that they have that perspective. Um, if you're anxious about it, talk about that anxiety and don't dwell always on the negative, but include the positive. The things you know are there that will make you safe, like the police station on the grounds or the uh, police are usually nearby. Uh, so you include safe information instead of just your worry. So you would recommend an adult maybe talking to a spouse or a friend first to walk to talk through those feelings before even talking to your children? Sure. Um, anything that will help you reassure yourself is going to be a plus when you deal with your family. Of course, kids are all ages. Uh, how would you talk to maybe um, a three to four or five year old versus a teenager? Well, that's, that's very true. And the younger the child, you need to put it in their terms. And uh, the younger children are really going to read you uh, because they're more dependent on you than a teenager would be. A teenager may blow it off, uh, act like they don't care, um, and underneath they may care a lot. So uh, putting it in uh, terms that the teenager can go with is helpful and uh, they also read you uh, and you won't get away very far uh, from uh, trying to bluff your way with a teenager uh, because they will pick up on it too. Those kids, they're so smart. Yes. <laughs> they know everything. What about schools? Uh, as a parent, you worry about your kid going to school now, which you shouldn't have had to worry about maybe 10 years ago, but now we hear about threats at school. A lot of them aren't significant, but you hear about these threats coming out. How do you talk to your kids about school if they're scared to go? Um, it's a big topic, and one that uh, school educators are concerned with, too. Uh, one of the things I would think of off the top of my head is to talk with the school people so that you find out what steps are being taken at your school and what thoughts the administration has had about messages to send to families and parents. So getting yourself informed about what your local school has planned and what thoughts they have had about it is a really good step. Uh, because a lot of times they have thought through this and your classroom teachers will have thought through it because they're all in the soup as, uh, along with the rest of us. So informing yourself uh, about your local building and what's happening there is a, is a great resource. 
Yeah, that's a great tip. So talking to your school and then maybe taking that information back to your child at home and saying, you know, you have a school resource officer or your principal has this plan and you may practice right. this kind of situation. Right. Um, it, finding out what procedures the school has. And um, more important than that is letting your child know that you know people at the building and l letting them know information mm -hmm. about them gives them the sense that you trust that person because you've taken time to go meet them and you know people in the building. And that can uh, go a long way to in implicitly infer that you trust these people and so it's going to be okay. No matter if it was a school shooting threat or um, a mass shooting threat, if your kid is feeling a lot of anxiety, just in general, and you're picking up on that, is there things you can do at home to try to ease that, um, to calm them down? Um, allow talking about it, and, and don't try to talk them out of their feelings. Um, just listen, and uh, ask uh, if you pick up on some kind of fear response that and the little kids may be more apt to show this facially than the older ones but if you pick up on that uh, just ask what's going on I'm sensing that you're worried about something can you tell me about it um, see if you can get that child to open up a little bit to tell you what's going on and if you're a listenable parent uh, you'll get some information from them um, if you're not listenable, you probably won't get very much and, and maybe you should try another family member to see what they can learn. What's the difference between a listenable parent and a non-listenable parent? A parent that scared themselves. <laughs> I don't know, though. A parent that scared themselves um, is, is, is not a listenable parent. A parent that's so anxious and scared to hear what that child is going to say. <laughs> they can pick up on that. Uh, then you know you're not the right one to try for this information. No, oh, that's a good tip. So maybe talk to a grandparent or an older sibling or yes. someone that could talk. Yeah, someone other other family member that's not so anxious about it or, or so worried that that you can't stand to hear what's going to come out. Yeah, that's great information. Is there anything else that you you know see in your daily work or any other tips that you'd want to give our viewers? Well, um, just offhand. Um, I think uh, when you hear uh, a concern of a child, um, do your best to, to listen. And don't argue, don't try to talk them out of their mm -hmm. position. And because if you try to do that, that's going to cause them to shut down. And uh, being open to hearing what's going on and letting them know your confidence about moving around in the community uh, they're going that's that's their environment that they live with that's the environment they trust that they depend on and you are their system and you just have to accept that and uh, and and try to work with them to get information about how what their feelings are